Greetings and salutations, Second Star right back with more Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, today is an interesting little event that Plarium has set up for us. If you look at the portal, it looks like it's a double summons event. It is not, it is a single summons event, but after 40 Ancient Shards, you are guaranteed to get this fellow here, uh, the Geomancer, who I am very excited about. Let me rephrase that. I'm not very excited, but I am enthused about this champion Geomaster, and I hope that that enthusiasm is transmissible through YouTube because his skill set is actually very interesting. Okay, so I actually I need to gonna start with his, his A3. Actually, let's start with his A1, just get it out of the way. It's just a decrease accuracy on his, uh, on his A1, so that's fine and dandy. Uh, let's go back to his A3, which is actually really cool. So we'll talk about the Ascended version. Fully depletes the target's turn meter and fills this champion's meter by the amount the target loses and has a 75% chance of placing an HP burn and a 25% weaken on the target for three turns. That's a three-turn burn and weaken, right? And it's on a native five-turn cooldown that you can book down to three turns, which is important, not only because if math works the way math usually works, uh, that's three-turn uh, cooldown uh, with a three-turn extent, extent of the buff, so we can theoretically have it up on the target at all times. But even better, if we track back to his A2, right, which is a um, uh, remove all buffs and then steals them if they're under an HP burn, uh, it has the additional benefit of reducing the cooldown of that three-turn cooldown A3 by two turns uh, if the target is killed by the skill while under an HP burn placed by the champion. So if you kill your target uh, with your A2, it takes two turns off your A3, which you have booked it down to three turns, means it makes it a one-turn cooldown. Which is actually kind of awesome. So you can he can be setting fires just everywhere, just whatever targets he have, he can he can ignite them. Um, which is interesting because <coughs> as a geomancer, you think he'd care more about the environment and not want to burn everything down. But apparently, fires are are fine in his world. Okay, and then he also has a really cool passive, Stone Guard, that decreases the damage all allies receive by fifteen percent and deflects that damage onto each enemy under an HP burn debuff placed by the champion. And whenever this champion is attacked, it deflects 30% of the damage instead. So his passive has a lot of stuff going on too. So a lot of stuff happening with Geomancer. A lot of these skills cascade together in a very nice way, which is something I always enjoy um, when, when all these things work together and interlock nicely. And I think Geomancer is set up very well in that regard. Now, I can't comment on his mental state because he looks <laughs> rather psychotic. Uh, this is an angry dwarf. Right, and uh, uh, whenever you can see the whites of your eyes, you know, around the people, you know there's a problem. And uh, this guy, it definitely suffers from that anomaly. Um, and I don't know what he's so mad about. I'm assuming it's climate change, right, as a geomancer. But dude, get over it. Corporate interests control the levers of power, all right? Unless you can shake your glowy stick at Congress and take money out of politics, move to a higher elevation. Okay, so um, we're gonna just draw our 40 shards. I have 43, conveniently, and I have just enough inventory space to get those 40 that we're looking for. So I'm just gonna do a 10 draw, and we'll see what happens. I, I, I picked green ones, didn't I? I totally picked the green shards. Oh my god. That's not gonna help me. That's not the ones I want. I don't want these shards. Now I gotta go in my inventory and clean that out. Ugh. Yes, this is what happens when you're trigger happy such as myself. Okay, so I have plenty of room in my vault. We're just gonna put all those and then put all them right back in. Right back in the vault. I'll deal with it later. Oh boy. Okay, get back here, guys. Okay, you, you, you. I can't believe I did that. Actually, I totally believe I did that. I pulled a stew. Stew uh, has done that in his streams a bunch of times. Alright, uh, move to vault. Alright, back to 260. We are good to go. Let's, let's pick the bright color shard this time, shall we? Alright, so let's see what's happening with our uh, non-boosted uh, summons. Uh, again, epic right away. Uh, good old Rask. And Tashada. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. Um, okay, so uh, Rask and Tashada. Um, Rask is a really good uh, epic for sure. Tashada is uh, one you can safely uh, guard your vault with. And moving on. Okay. I wonder if we're going to get a, a, a slate of blue this time. No, no. We got a miscreated monster. Fantastic. Of course, I got one last time I pulled my shards, but that's okay. All right. Let's continue on. All right. What have we here? Oh, my God. What? Oh, it's a foley. <laughs> I have, a, I have, a, I have a, an army of foleys. Okay. I'm exaggerating. I have two foleys, but it's one more than I need. But... <laughs> 
<laughs> well, they're gonna reset my uh, uh, reset my mercy system on a duplicate. Oh, that's no fun. Okay, all right, guys. So let's let's skip. <laughs> I like fully a lot. It's funny because I drew for Enzoia, my uh, longtime friend of the channel. I drew his shards and he got a Foley also. So I guess it's it's Foley time. All right, and the last one should be my boy, Jim Answer. All right, and a Crimson Helm. So uh, that's good. I like, I like Crimson Helm a lot too. It's, I, I, it's like one of those champions that I wish I got initially because he's so good in the beginning. Okay, uh, and then Jim Answer is my boy. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to switch accounts, uh, if you don't mind. Yes, I'm going to exit the game. And I'm going to switch over to my other account. Uh, if you'll just bear with me, I'm going to switch over to my, I can't say free to play account, my alt account. And we're going to draw my shards there too, just um, just for the heck of it. What's my password? Oh my gosh. Okay. I haven't had to do that in a while. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Ah, I got it. Second try. All right, so I, I I have not drawn any shards on this account in forever. Um, I usually save it only for you know double summons events um, because this is the one where I don't put a lot of money into. But um, since I hadn't drawn in, in in a long time, I guess I forgot the last ancient shard double summons. I haven't had forty shards uh, available, so I am just going to draw those shards and we will see what happens after <laughs> the the pop ups get done popping. All right, okay. All right, so let's go in here. I do have 40 shards, right? Okay, yes. And let me check my inventory real quick before I get immensely disappointed and find out that I am in the wrong. 157 out of 210. Okay, I'm close. All right, come here, guys. No. Oh, come on. All right. Okay, so we're gonna draw the uh, the same way we, we we did on my other account, and hopefully uh, we'll get something cool to talk about on this account as well. Oh my God! <laughs> I did it again. I did it again. Oh wow! Yeah, you are truly seeing the. Uh, my mind melting obviously as I just am not paying attention to what I'm doing holy cow <laughs> has anyone else done this uh, like multiple times in a row uh, like myself because that would be uh, uh, a sight wow holy cow I totally did that uh... Okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do this again. I guess I probably, I had enough inventory to, to have just eaten it, but that's all right. Okay. Serenity now. All right, let's go, guys. Let's get to our Geomancer, our angry environmentalist. Okay, we have an Oathbound, who um, is actually a really good crowd control champion. Um that probably should be used more than he is. Okay. Solid blue. We're going to go solid blue. No, we're not. We're going to get an Alaric the Hooded. Um, Alaric? Alaric the Hooded, uh, who I already have, unfortunately. What's funny is that this seems just like some of the uh, double summons events that I do, where I just don't get any epics anyway. Okay, and then is this... Is this it? Is this our Geomancer slate? Oh, Logic the Falcon Heart. I had to, I had to uh, sacrifice him during the fusion, so actually I don't think I have one right now. So there we go. So we got our Logic and we got our our boy the Geomancer. Oh, I'm I'm uh, enthused. I'm very enthused to build um, this this dude right here, despite his his awkward appearance. Um, <laughs> I guess he's a rocketeer too. Um, anyway, I'm excited, and I want to thank you guys for bearing with me on my uh, complete inability to manage my inventory. Uh, that was that was fun. Well, you got to see it's an insight 
into <laughs> into how completely disorganized I am in all things. But I appreciate it. Uh, comment down below what you think of Geomancer. Um, I will build him, and if he's fun, I'll try to make a video of him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, who knows when I'm going to get around to that. But I want to thank you for the journey, right? It's not the destination that we're interested in. It's, it's, it's the trip there. So again, thank you. Uh, if you enjoyed it, throw me a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will be back in the next video in a couple days. All right, take care, guys. Peace.